One of the exciting things about being a planner in Bayfield right now is Bayfield is going to see a lot of growth, but we're going to see a lot of our workforce housing growth because of the cost of housing prices compared to Durango and the county as a whole. So just based on the development proposals that we have in hand right now, um, we're looking at 600 potential new units. And with 1,100 units currently, that's a 50% increase in the next two to five years. So there are quite a few large developments going on in Bayfield right now. Um, Bayfield East Annexation is the largest. It's approximately 150 acres on the northeast side of town. It will have about 300 single family units, 200 multifamily, and about 500,000 square feet of commercial being proposed right now. And we also have the Mustang Crossing, which is located on the southeast corner of town, and that is 35 acre parcel with 85 single family lots. We also have a tiny house village called the Marlin Tiny Home Village. They are located just west of Bayfield Parkway, and they are proposing 15 tiny home units that will be owner occupied units, but on one parcel that will be maintained and owned by the current property owners. And we do have one large commercial project coming into town. It's a 2107 Bayfield Parkway annexation. It's about 16 acres and it's going to be for commercial uses. And that is located on the southwest corner of Highway 160 and Bayfield Parkway. For the two commercial projects that we are currently reviewing, um, there's proposals for a gas station, a hotel, a new grocery store, and other convenience stores for the community members. And the town of Bayfield just recently bought the Cinnamon Heights subdivision and that is 30 townhome units that will be deed restricted um, working with the Homes Fund. Um, and these units, the town is putting in infrastructure, paying for engineering, um, doing grading and drainage plans and hoping to sell these to builders or one builder um, and have these deed restricted units come in at an affordable attainable price level. In total, the projects that I currently have on my desk, we have 221 acres of annexations being proposed. We have 462 potential new single family lots, um, 209 new multifamily units, 30 deed restricted units, and 15 tiny homes, as well as approximately 800,000 square feet of commercial coming into the town of Bayfield in the next you know, one to five years, depending on how the market drives those.